Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for allowing us into your home. I'm Rudy Trevino and I'm Leslie Adamy at the top tonight. We're learning more about that police raid at the Sweetwater Club off of Alameda and airline last night. It led to four arrests on a variety of illegal gambling charges. Police hoping the bus will send a clear message to other game rooms in the city that if they are engaging in illegal activity, they'll face the consequences. Our Bill Churchwell spoke with authorities tonight about the effort to go after these types of establishments and the big push to close them down. It is our top story tonight. The raid at the Sweetwater Club landing four people in handcuffs. Among the items seized, gambling equipment, two vehicles, cash, and what authorities say was other evidence of illegal gambling. Well, we're hoping it sends a very clear message that if you're engaging in illegal gambling in, in these game rooms, which we realize there's plenty of it going on, they, they cease and desist. Assistant Chief Todd Green with CCPD says the department's narcotics and vice division served the warrant Wednesday following their investigation. And it all began with a tip that illegal gambling was going on inside. Just the fact that you open a game room doesn't make it illegal. What makes it illegal is when you start paying out cash money uh, you know, for rewards. The police department working on this latest case in conjunction with the Nueces County District Attorney's Office. Among those on the scene was the assistant district attorney. Uh, there were a lot of patrons that received uh, warning citations, um, but we just want to send a message that we're, we're coming and the landowners, the owners of these uh, businesses and, and lots that are renting or leasing to these facilities, um, we're coming for them too. It's not as innocent as it may seem to the to the customer that goes in there and just wants to you know, enjoy themselves for, for a short period of time. Chief Green says there could be at least 100 active game rooms in the city and surrounding area. However, there's no exact count because right now there is no ordinance or law requiring these types of establishments to register with the city or county. Why should we go after people that are minding their business and if they want to go uh, blow their money on a machine, why should we worry about it? Uh, there's there is criminal activity, uh, a lot of criminal activity going on behind the scenes that people don't see. So what can be done? Last month, county commissioners discussed the regulating game rooms to help stop illegal cash payouts and other criminal activity. But so far, nothing is set in stone. Until then, Chief Green says they will continue to do their part in going after these types of establishments if illegal activity is taking place. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. All right, Bill, thank you. Now we have learned that three of the four people arrested in yesterday's raid were also charged with unlawfully carrying a weapon. This after officers discovered they were all armed with handguns during the commission of another crime.